All right, Halloween 18th. Our 18th movie is Scream 5. We're almost caught up, guys. This movie just came out last year, 2022, you know, directed by Matt Bettinelli, Bettinelli Olpin, and Tyler Gillette. Um, Gillet, Gillette, we'll go with Gillette. Uh, stars Jenna Ortega, Melissa Barrera, Jack Quaid from The Boys, and obviously our original cast, you know, Dewey, Gail, Sydney. Those are the character names. Anyways, um, you know, this, this was a fun addition to... Uh, the whole Scream franchise, as they so, it's very tongue in cheek. Obviously, the Scream movie. They, um, it's a little too on the nose, but I'm cutting it some slack because it's a hard shoe to fill. The original Scream movie and the franchise, you know, up to date, big shoes to fill. So I'm cutting a lot of slack. Scream Five was a solid movie. You know, I'll, I'll put it out there. This was a solid movie. Um, it has, the, there are, it's a little too on the nose in ways where it fully explains some of the tropes. And I get it. It's pandering to a newer audience that may not be aware of older horror movie tropes and all that. So th th they have to add a bit of context. So I get that. Um, besides that, it's really fun. It's really fun. I'm a fan of Jenna Ortega. I think she does a great job. She does a great job in the film. I've liked her in other films, especially in X. Um, I liked her in the second Babysitter movie, but anyways, you know, it's, at certain times there's some stiff acting, um, that's generally from our newer cast, Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera, the, now, I say that they're good actors, I only say that because it might have just been some awkward lines to deliver, this might be a writing thing, and because the writing was a little too on the nose, a little too tongue-in-cheek, that some of the lines came off a bit stiff. But that's really the major criticism I have with this. It plays into all the tropes. It plays into all the cliches. does it in a brilliant way. Like I said, it's a little on the nose with certain things. But they have to pander to a newer audience. So they do a great job with that. I, I just really love the plot line. I love how they, like in every screen movie, they completely subvert all of the viewers' expectations. Um, they just it, it felt like a classic screen movie rebooted sequeled well actually they state in the movie it's not a sequel it's not a reboot it's a requel so that's what we're dealing with here you know just like the halloween 2018 you know this is like this is a requel so they did a good job um it, i'd give it a solid eight i really do uh maybe a seven and a half if i'm feeling grouchy but i'm gonna i'm feeling good today so i'm gonna say an eight <laughs> it's a solid movie it's a fun ride I do recommend it, especially if you're a Scream fan, you will love it. The The other major criticism I have, though, I might say, big spoiler here, is I really thought they did Dewey dirty um, with a certain scene. Um, I'm just going to come out and say, he's a legacy character, Dewey, and they killed him off in a really shitty way. Oh, I shouldn't say shitty, but it just, it it felt in a cheaper way. It just felt cheap to me. But other than that, um, at least they tried to sort of make him a hero while doing it. But other than that, solid movie. I do recommend it, especially if you're a Scream fan. Go check out Scream 5, or is it just Scream with the V and the M for the 5? Anyways, go check it out. The Scream 5, solid flick.